everybody. Thanks for coming back to my channel. You are here with Heather-ish. So um, if you're new to my channel, um, I am all about just finding our ish in life. You know, there's never just one way to any uh, way of eating, any way of parenting, any way of just living in general. So I am all about finding our ish in life. So anyways, I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy March 25th, 2019. So I am about 10 months post-op now and I am only down about 60 pounds. Um, if you want <laughs> reasons why, you know, I had slower weight loss, feel free to look back at some of my previous videos and just see my journey because it's definitely unique to me. But I am still on this train, still ready to just keep on flowing through the next 60 pounds. Um, but today, I wanted to talk about slider food after surgery. So if you have not heard of slider food, so slider food is basically food that you can eat much more than it seems like you should be able to. Um, you know, typically after weight loss surgery, we eat um, a small portion of something and we're full. Whereas if you were to get some chips, some crackers, um, some popcorn, you will find that you are able to definitely um, eat a lot more of it than your normal sitting of food. It basically um, just gets softer and gushier. There's not really any substance to it. It's, it's the highly, highly processed foods. So definitely a lot of like the munching snacky stuff. Um, but also I've heard that, you know, even bread, people consider bread to be a slider food and they can eat a lot more of that than normal. So some things that I would consider slider food for me that I've uh, experimented with so far, it would be chips, popcorn, uh, crackers, cereal. Bread does fill me up, so that's not one for me. Um, one of the snacks that I struggle with is like cheese it crackers and chips. I totally, totally feel the need to like snack on crunchy stuff. So I'm trying to replace that with other snacks. Um, I am, have analyzed my stall over the past couple months and saw some of the, the foods that I introduced back in to my snacking or my meals and I have committed to replacing that with some meal prep snack items. Now, I don't I don't really do a lot of meal prep for meals. I'll cook bigger quantities so I have leftovers. Um, but what is a huge help to me is to do some meal prep of snack items. So I like chips, so I made deviled eggs. So that's an easy thing for me to just grab in there. And I know it's not crunchy, but still just grab and eat like I would a handful of chips. Um, <clears throat> buffalo chicken dip. I'll show you that I made that. And um, that is good cold, good warm. That's been a huge help for me. Absolutely love that stuff. Um, egg salad. And so I'm just still experimenting with um, some snack foods but I really just want to avoid the snacking and make sure that since I do eat that way, which is three small meals and two snacks, or two meals and two snacks usually, um, that I have the healthy foods. I also want to incorporate fruits into this as well. So just, just like I said, just trying to make sure that I am making the commitment from slider foods as my snacks to healthy snacks that are within my realm of what I should be eating that, you know, make my body feel good. I am going to show you guys some of the things that I am making and I hope I've educated you a little bit on slider foods and um, let me just assure you that you can definitely gain weight and stall by including too many of them in your diet. So try to watch out for that. And here's some fun stuff that I definitely did for my snacking this week. And it has gone really good and I'm down two pounds. So here we go. 
morning. Breakfast for champions. Two eggs with cheese, a little bit of salt and pepper. So I'm back on track, right? Since my little bit of regain from Christmas. Hey guys, so I am doing a little bit of meal prepping. I figured I would show you. Um, I decided that I am going to do some deviled eggs because that sounds like super good to me to be able to just like reach in and grab um, instead of my chips. And then also um, I'm gonna show you my little chicken dinner that I'm making for dinner. Okay, so let's start over here. I've got about 18 eggs in here that I'm boiling. I, I really don't think this is going to last me more than like a couple days because my family actually loves deviled, deviled eggs too, but that's okay. I got tons of these uh, 18 packs at Walmart for like 53 cents today. Um, I actually usually like to do the egg ones best, but money was a little tight this week, so we did these. Um, for dinner, I've got some raw chicken in here, and I'm about to put... A little bit more and then I will drench it drench it in some ranch and Parmesan cheese in the crock pot and let it cook until it falls off the bone and it will be so good and here are the end results of my deviled eggs they were so yummy I'm super excited my blood work came back everything normal even cholesterol Okay guys, here's the buffalo chicken dip, and I've got it in this whole thing. I'm going to use as um, snacking food or some lunch here and there. Again, just some meal prep, and um, I didn't show you guys me making it, but I have a whole video that I will link or put up in the corner so you can see. Um, it's also on Time to Shrink on Erica's page as well, but it is super easy and super good. All right, guys, so I normally have been eating this really cold as like a dip, but for dinner, I decided to heat it up with some shredded cheese. This is that buffalo chicken dip that I got from um, Erica over at Time to Shrink, and it is, oh my God, so amazing. Heat it up with some extra gooey cheese. Now it is time to make my cauliflower mac and cheese. This looks like a damn good dinner. Add it with some vegetables and voila. All right, friends, so that concludes our video. I actually showed you things that I used for dinner and for snack. The um, cauliflower, the eggs, and the buffalo dip. I actually used that for my snacking too, so it was really good. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.